Hello citizens and welcome back. Today we're asking can Man City win the treble this season? So make sure to hit the like button, hit subscribe. And let's jump into it. So can Man City win the treble? Now of course we're in pole position in the Premier League. We're above Arsenal by a point with a game in hand going into this weekend. You know, we're also in the semi-final of the Champions League and we're in the final of the FA Cup. And we've only got, what, five, six weeks left, something like that. So we're in a great position, possibly the best position we're ever going to get to win a treble. But can we do it? Can we do it? For me, you know, th there's a couple of, couple of lingering thoughts I have on it. The main one being that the players at the moment, they look pretty tired they, they look pretty exhausted it's the end of a long season and the run we're on i mean what are we unbeaten in 17 unbeaten in 18 something like that it's a phenomenal run but that takes a lot of effort it takes a lot of energy and the players at the end of the last couple of games against fulham and against west ham you know they were looking pretty exhausted out there both mentally and physically too now pep made a good point in his um, press conference of the day before West Ham, which is saying, yeah, he's tired and the players are tired, but mentally not really because when you're at the edge of a title, when you're trying to win trophies, you know, you kind of get that second burst, but the players do still need a rest. We do play majority of some players in every single game. One of them being Rodri. Rodri is so key to everything we do. And when you look at the West Ham game, even Edison got a rest, you know, De Bruyne's not in there, Gundogan's not in there. Um, Akanji was rested. You know, these these players do get a break, but Rodri, one of the main players for us, he sits in that CDM role. He doesn't get rest because Pep does not trust Calvin Phillips. Or if he doesn't trust him, he does not think he's up to Rodri's quality. And he thinks Rodri is key to everything we do, which which he kind of is. So that, that little issue right there, you know, some players need more rest. Rodri in particular, can he go the next five, six games playing every game, every 90 minutes, because he's going to need to as well. We do need Rodri for that Real Madrid game coming up next week. We need him massive for the Real Madrid tie. We need him for the United game as well. I I wouldn't put anyone else there. I would only put Rodri in that position. So, fatigue can come into it. What else? Well, we mentioned it. Real Madrid next week. Real Madrid, uh, it's a tough game. It's a tough tie. You know, they've done us in um, Champions League before. You know, we had a great win over them a couple of years ago when we beat them 2-1 at the Bernabeu and then 2-1 at the Etihad. And I think that was our best chance to win the Champions League that season. Obviously, we threw that away in the next round. But this is a good time to play Real Madrid. You know, they're, they're not in good form in La Liga at the moment. They're not going to win it. Barcelona are. But then again, you look at them and they are getting beat by teams like Real Sociedad. I think that's who they got beat by last. But they're taking plays out. They're resting them. And they're giving the players a chance to recover ahead of that tie. It's something we cannot do. And one of the things I've said many, many times, when you're pushing for the Premier League title, the standard that we've set over the last few years, we have to win every single game going into these runnings. So we have to be 100%. Other teams like Real Madrid, you know, teams like Bayern Munich, teams like that, they don't have to do that because their league are usually tied up by this time of the year. So they can rest place. They can afford to leave them out in league. They can afford to lose league games. And that's what Real Madrid are doing at the moment in La Liga. They can afford to drop points. They can afford to go half bothered into these matches. City cannot. We have to go 100% every single game. And that could have an impact on how the Real Madrid tie plays out. And one of my favorite things about this tie, or one of the things I'm looking forward to, the fact that we played the Etihad second. I think that is key. When you look at last year, we played Real Madrid second leg at their ground. And I think that massively changed how things played out. I don't think it would have played out the same way I think we would have gone through if we had yet to had second leg. You know, because I think without their crowd behind them, I don't think they made that comeback in the 90th, 91st minute, whatever it was. So, bear in mind, we can beat Real Madrid. Um, and yeah, like I said, the Etihad game is going to be crucial to us. And United in the final of the FA Cup. United, they hit and miss away from home. They've been really poor this season. At home, they're quite good. Are they going to turn up in the final? Who knows? They had a tough game against Brighton in the semi-final. Um, they beat them on penalties. And, you know, if you look at the two games we played against United this season, we were we battered them in the first game at the Etihad in the league when we won 6-3. The second game at Old Trafford, we weren't exactly in form. It came at the wrong time for us. It was a period of time where we weren't quite finding our feet. A lot of players were out of form after the World Cup. 
and we were really poor. In that second half, when United went 2-1 up, we, we offered absolutely nothing. Although I think we win that game if that offside had been given, which it should have been given for their first goal. Yeah, things to think about there. Now look, so Champions League, we can we can beat Real Madrid. I think we can. I think we're better than them. Second leg at our ground, I think that's massive for us. Can we beat United? Yes, I think over two games, we have been better than them this season. And Premier League, that's, that's a tough one for me. Now, Pep said a couple of weeks ago that he's not looking forward to the last week of the season, and rightly so. So if you look at our next games in the Premier League, and everyone keeps saying Arsenal have the toughest games. I don't agree. I think City have got the toughest games, and I think every game is absolutely tough for us. Next game up, Leeds at home. Yes, we should be scoring five and six against them. We should. But if Sam Allardyce moving in there, I'm not saying Allardyce is better than Pep, like he's claiming. But it's a new manager at a key moment in time for them. It can go one of two ways. They can pull it out of the bag like Everton did against um, Arsenal when Daesh came in for them. They can come in, the players can fight, they can, you know, scrap for a 1-0 win. It's possible, you know. Or they can just be so full, well, so low of confidence that we go in there and batter them 5-6-0. No. That Leeds game, for me, is kind of a... It's an odd one for me, that Leeds game. It really is because, you, can, like I said, it can go either way. That's tough. And then after Leeds... Who have we got? We've got Everton away. Everton away next weekend. That is brutal. And not only that, is that game brutal for a team that's fighting for their Premier League survival. They've not been relegated since something like the 50s, whatever it is. Not only that, is that a tough game to go to at the moment, Everton away with their fans behind them, them fighting for survival. But it's in between them Real Madrid games where we're going to have to put in 100% in both them games to win. So who does Pep field in that Everton game? Is he going to have to wrestle one after the Real Madrid game? Either player is going to be too drained to play it. Again, it could go either way, that one. It's a tough one. Next up after that, after the next Real Madrid game, is Chelsea at home. Chelsea are probably the worst team in the league right now. They're absolutely diabolical. They gave Arsenal some confidence last week when they got battered by them. And look, again, Chelsea, they've got nothing to play for. Are they going to turn up against us? Are they going to turn up against anyone this season? You'd think not. I mean, again, I'd expect us to absolutely batter them. Uh, but again, it comes immediately after a Real Madrid game. They may have gone to extra time. You just don't know. But again, what state are our players going to be in? And then after that, it's our game in hand on Arsenal, which is Brighton away. Brighton is not a fun team to play at home or away. And away from home, they're going to be up for it. It's their last home game of the season. I think, I think that's a tough one. And then the last game of the season, of course, it's Brentford away. They're not easy games. Brighton and Brentford away, they're two last home games as well. Can we do it? It's tough. And like I said, the big, I think the big question mark around this season is the Real Madrid games. It depends if, um, how much energy goes into them. Um, if the second leg goes to extra time and possibly penalties. And of course, if everyone stays fit as well. So yeah, we're in great, we're in a great position for the next couple of weeks. Uh, they're, they're battles. And again, I disagree with the fact that Arsenal have the tougher running. City have the tougher running. Ideally this weekend, what you want was to beat Leeds and then Arsenal to drop points against Newcastle. And that way we've got four points and we got, we're four points ahead of Arsenal with a game in hand. And we may need it as well. We may need that little gap. But yeah, can we win the treble? Yes, will we win the treble? Let's come back after Real Madrid, shall we? See where we are. That's it. Let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know in the comments who the toughest game is. Let me know in the comments if you think I'm going to beat Real Madrid. Can we get to another Champions League final? It'd be great to see. Can we go on to win it? Who knows? What's standing in our way? Only us, right? Only us. Thanks for watching, as always. Thanks for checking out. Make sure to hit the like button. And uh, yeah.